Welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee. If you're new, um, what's freaking new? I got my couch delivered this morning and first of all, they told me that they're not going to be able to bring it up and I kindly convinced them to just put it in the freight elevator because once it's in the freight elevator, I can just slide it on over to my apartment. So they got it up to the elevator and then we found out that it's not going to fit through the door. Let me show you guys what I'm working with. And it's not fitting through this door. So at this point, even though my life is going, I still look cute. I'm drinking my protein collagen smoothie. I have this like romper on from Urban Outfitters, a jean jacket from, I'm pretty sure I got it from either Princess Polly or Tolliver, and shoes from Princess Polly. <gasps> All right, guys. I have my couch here. I'm gonna put it together, but uh, the maintenance people ended up like not being able to do it. So the concierge guy came by and figured it out for me. He was like punching holes in the box, like tugging stuff out of the box. He put it in my apartment, like put all the furniture in. Like he was so freaking sweet. I ran over to Chase and gave him some money, even though I'm not supposed to, but he did not have to do that. He went above and beyond his job and so thankful. You know for people like this seriously so freaking thankful so i'm gonna try my best to put all of this together and we shall see what this couch looks like hopefully we like it i made this new playlist called honey it's like really soft beautiful music so i'm popping this on and i'm gonna we'll figure out the whole couch situation <laughs> excited wow this is my new couch what a crazy ride I'm hot yeah I'm slowly but surely figuring out like anything that life throws at me I can take it I know it's crazy because it's a freaking couch but like things like this I would have never been able to like even think about doing alone moving to New York, figuring out everything in terms of the move, just doing everything on my own. It's something that's very different for me. I, I'm very dependent on other people, but this part of my life has really shown me like, you think you can't do stuff, but you really can. And yeah, I know it's really corny because I got a, like it's a couch that I built, but I'm just so proud of myself and I'm so excited. Yeah, what a start to the vlog. <laughs> hey. I know, I love it. It's so soft, too. Oh, we did it together? Yeah, I did. I just ordered my first ever Instacart delivery. It's like such a Saturday. I'm eating an egg sandwich. I did scrambled eggs with um, Ezekiel English muffin. I'm actually playing The Sims, watching Mulan. It's a good day. All right, guys, here's another grocery haul what's freaking new i though i actually bought way more stuff um this time hopefully i'm like getting the hang of this like new york groceries during quarantine thing i'm never really catching a break i feel like every time i go grocery shopping i don't get enough or i spend way too much on very little this is from the grocery store that has better prices um and then the delivery made it easier because i can't obviously like walk around just me with all these groceries so got a lot of like just staples and basics and food that hopefully can last me up to two weeks and i won't have to go grocery shopping anymore for me let's start over here 
Um, English muffins, I go through these pretty quickly. They are the sprouted green Ezekiel ones. Um, I bought some more eggs, some more peanut butter. I got just basics. I did put ketchup on here too, but they didn't have ketchup, so it's just mustard and mayo. Um, I bought some canned tuna, lemons, a red onion, banana, some organic blueberries, avocados. The one time that the guy actually picks like really good avocados, I freaking dropped one, so I think half of it is bruised. Like, whatever. Some snacks I picked up. These Harvest Snaps, they're really good. They're like snap peas, but they're like crisps. Um, some Skinny Pop popcorn. I picked up a dark chocolate bar. This is the sea salt Sorier. It's dark chocolate with sea salt and almonds. Some more almond milk. This I'm really excited about. Um, it's the Aurora, which you guys know I love this brand so much. They have really good plantain chips, cashews, like they just have really good stuff. Um, so I got their cranberry health mix. This is like a healthy snack. I got some more dates to make some more date balls. Um, some frozen berries, a tea, peach tea. I was looking for like a non-caffeine one that I can have at nighttime. Some Siggy's yogurt. You guys know I love this to make like yogurt parfaits. Uh, this is new. I'm not a huge bacon fan, um, but I know turkey is like really good for you. Never tried it before, so I'm gonna try it out. I, I do like, um, oh my god, what's it called? It's like the breakfast thing with like ham, egg, and an English muffin. Oh my god, am I losing? Eggs Benedict. I know that's a different, it's like ham, but I feel like turkey's healthier. Um, I also got some turkey some ground turkey i saw in someone's what i eat in a day they put this in like soup every time i eat soup i feel like it's not enough so maybe this will like add some substance to my soup i got some kale i'm probably just gonna freeze that i usually pop it just in my smoothies and then i picked up a whole bunch of banana or bananas apples i look crazy because i have self tanner on oh my god <gasps> it won't look like this after i'm done i promise i'm gonna wash it out <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a week video. I need to get back to eating better. Like I mentioned, I've been doing a lot of Uber Eats. I've been doing like a lot of like not eating and then snacking on like unhealthy stuff. I really just want to get like my diet back in check. I feel like that'll mentally help with my anxiety and my stress levels. So I feel like this is a good portion of all the food groups. We got our carbs, we got our fruits, veggies, meats chocolate what else that's about it right protein meat yeah i really hate kale um but there's so many benefits so i i i sneak it into my smoothie i'll like transfer between that and like spinach but i just washed it and i'm just probably gonna pop this in the freezer i have never had my frit <laughs> i was gonna say i've never had my fridge this stocked before it doesn't look very stocked but i promise you it is i have like condiments that are coming together uh, i drink so much almond milk this one's almost done and then i have two that will honestly probably last me like a week and a half got my date balls my yogurt and my fruit my veggies my protein all of the drinks that i love um my fruit bowl is full we got this is ice i have uh chicken like these are all just like pre-packaged like frozen chickens that i bought so whenever i need chicken i'll probably just like defrost it um i have two things of the ezekiel toast i have two of these left over um my fruit <laughs> freezer I, I swear you guys like it's actually packed because it's just me here it's no one else so this food should last a while it doesn't look that full but i promise you it is all of my veggies, like frozen veggies. Um, and then my pantry is stocked as well. All of the snacks. I have like random stuff here, like granola, oats, um, some baking stuff. These are like my desserts, um, my dates and stuff. All of my salty snacks over here. And then I have a lot of like canned soup, um, some brown rice. All that fun stuff tuna yeah oh my god you guys i really 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 want a balcony look at that what a beautiful day to like go on the patio ride your bike what are they doing are they doing yoga oh i think they're having a little picnic <laughs> is it weird that i spy on my neighbors i mean i'm sure everyone else over here can see me too so whatever 
I think it's cool and inspiring. <laughs> don't make Say hi. hi. It's like, it's like, hi, mom has to go pee, and then you're like, da -na -na -na, with your editing. Can I put makeup on sometime before you do this? Mom, they and can't see you through a camera and a camera of a camera. It doesn't yeah. matter. I love you. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's Bye. all I get. Bye. Sorry, but, the makeup, the eyebrow. What? 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 I know I look insane. I still have to shower. I have like the worst freaking headache. So I uber eat it. I don't think I ate that much today. Like I'm really honestly not that hungry. I got really sick um, like two days ago. Like I literally woke up and like almost threw up. I think it was something that I ate. So I'm just not like getting that hungry. And I think because I didn't eat that much today, like my head is just like pounding. I just bought all this food. I know I can cook, but my head hurts so bad. And I honestly just need something in my stomach. So I did uh, Taco Bell, the like potato, it's like cheesy potato or something. You know, these really good like dessert little, what are they called? Cinnabon Delights. They're really, really good. I'll show you guys when they, when they get here. But um, now that I have my couch, like I really want to start like buying more furniture again for my apartment or starting to like look. I don't want to rush anything. I'm kind of just like browsing here. Some dining room tables. I want to put, oh, my battery is about to die. Hold on. All right, I want to put like um, a circular table here with like two really pretty chairs. This is really freaking creepy. You guys are finding out exactly how creepy I am. When I first got this apartment, they actually sent me like a video of the person who had lived here before um, because I wasn't able to come actually see the exact unit. And I like screenshot. This is what they had over there. I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. Like, and I swear to god, guys, that table is this table. Like, even like the the way that these go like a V and there's like a square here. Like, I swear that's the same table. But this is 42 inches diameter, so it literally goes out to like there. I'm like, wait, no, I need like a small table. So I can't get this, but I keep going back. I'm like, I really want it, but there's no like small one. So I'm sitting here kind of just browsing, trying to find a nice dining table. I'm not finding any that's like the right diameter. Am I like, I'm like Googling two seater dining room table. Is that what I'm supposed to be Googling? Is there like a name for that? There's like a bistro set. Is that what it's called? But I feel like that's more of like a bar. Because my head, oh my god, it's hurting so bad. I just took two Advil. It's like pounding. I'm very picky. And when I like something, like I have my eyes set on it. And I feel like I already have that for the West Elm dining set. I found another one that I like, but it's like $700. I'm not doing that, so stupid. Help me. While I sit on that, um, this is what I ordered. I don't like Taco Bell, to be honest, but... Like, I actually like this. It's just potatoes and cheese, basically. <laughs> These are those Cinnabon things. There's like icing in the middle and you eat it. They're warm. Hopefully this will cure my headache. Oh, man. I'm looking rough. I'm gonna go wash this off after this and then probably pass out. It's only like 8.40. I had to wake up this morning at 7.30 because my couch. I haven't woke up like that since quarantine. You guys, this is so good. It tastes like something that you would get at like a fair. Go try one if you're close to a uh, Taco Bell and let me know what you think. My, my mouth is watering even just looking at this. Also super random, I've been watching a lot of like old Vine com contemplation, how do you say? Vine like videos. How do you say that word contem, con contemplate? What the hell, oh my God. Compilation, oh my God, I'm losing it. Com Compilation. Compilation. Okay. You guys know, I, let me put this down. I was so bored today that I looked up how to do that savage like TikTok. <laughs> I'm so fucking ashamed. But you know what? It was actually a good workout. Like I was actually sweating. Now that I think about it, that could be the cause of my headache. But yeah, here's my attempt at a TikTok dance because I'm officially going nuts. It's something like, oh my God, don't laugh at me. I'm a savage. <laughs> Wait, what? I already forgot it. I'm a savage. Wait, what the hell? I'm a savage. Classic. Bougie. Ratchet. Sassy. Moody. 
was happening. I don't know, fucking now. You guys, I'm literally tearing up from the Jesse scene on Toy Story. God, that's like really sad. I was left alone. She Guys, it's bedtime. <laughs> my headache is gone. I definitely think it was like I needed to eat something. But yeah, I'm all fresh and clean. I'm in my PJs. Tanner is off, kind of. I have my book here. I am still reading this one. A lot of you guys told me today um, or yesterday when I posted it on my Instagram. You guys were like, oh my god, this is such a good book. And so far, I like it. So far, I really like it. I like the vibe of it. It's like really quick. Like it's really short chapters too which I really, really, really like. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like it's like quicker like that. I like quick books. I like get to the point kind of books. I like dialogue. I don't like long drawn out books. This one is though a little bit slower to like get to the point, um, the big climax, if you will. Um, but it's really good. I really like it so far. Good morning, everyone. I made myself a smoothie. I'm actually filming a what I eat in a week that I started today. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm going to start reading a nonfiction in the morning. I used to like read two books at a time and then I got like bored of that. But um, I don't know, I'm in the mood to like learn something. So I'm starting this one. It's called Addicted to the Monkey Mind. Change the programming that sabotages your life. Yeah, I'll let you guys know how I like it. first page and there's already something that I want to share with you guys so I know I'm gonna actually really like this book. The past few like non-fiction books I honestly didn't like so I think that's why it was like hard for me to get into one but like when you find a good non-fiction it can literally just change your whole life at the time because it's super motivating and stuff but I'm literally on page one. He's basically describing the monkey mind and the observing mind. If you imagine your life like a movie and you're watching yourself in like the narration the narrative of what's happening like you're describing like that's your mind so like think about where you are right now and think about what the narrative would be saying let's say that something happens where you're like on a date and you're like in a really good moment and then all of a sudden the sprinklers come on and gets you all wet notice your reaction is the movie a comedy or is it a tragedy and it all depends on what director you're getting and what cues you're getting from to interpret the events the monkey mind would throw self-judgment and cr create dramatic storylines and that anxiety fuels the critical story throwing plot twists and dramatic turns into the movie of your life. It's non-stop chatter, it's full of opinions and distractions. For example, this is super dramatic, but if you did get wet during your date and you think like, oh my god, my hair, I have to change now, like this date is ruined, and then you start thinking like, no one's gonna love me, like why do I even try? Then there's like the observing mind where um, it doesn't have dramatic stories or personal opinions, and it's like, wow you're all wet what do you do now and it doesn't judge the situation while the monkey mind frets about problems the observing mind shifts your focus towards solution solutions it's looking listening and feeling for the path away from anxiety who do you want directing your movie i wish i had opened this book a little bit earlier during this quarantine um, i'll pop this book too down below if you guys are interested i was actually talking to my stepmom too last night and we were talking about my dad um and how he was 64. He um never complained in terms of like what life threw at him. Like he never was like, whoa me kind of attitude. Like even when he had cancer and he was going through hell with his treatments and stuff, like he never really complained. Like yeah, he was in pain and like he didn't like it, but he, it, he wasn't like sitting there crying about it, like trying to fight off the situation. like. And I think too, like, I think it's generational. Like, our generation, like, when we things don't go our way, I feel like we have a lot of built up anxiety and stuff. Like, obviously, like, mental health is definitely totally different. I think from generation to generation, and our generation has, like, things that obviously my dad's generation didn't have. But they never, like, really complain about their life. Like, even my mom, I, I think about my mom, it's like they just are dealt with certain things and then they deal with it. They don't sit there and cry about it or try to resist it or like woe is me attitude and i was 
we were talking about that yesterday and I was like, I really need to like channel that, you know, like if my dad was in this situation when he was in his 20s and he was quarantined and he had just lost his dad and he's alone with a pandemic going on, what would he do? I feel like he would simply just like live in the moment. He wouldn't sit there and cry and like, he would be upset, but he wouldn't like, there's no point in really resisting it. I feel like he would just like enjoy his alone time, know that things pass and just be. He would just figure out a way to be. And I wanna like channel that more. And like even just opening this, <clears throat> I was thinking that yesterday and then even just like channeling this book I'm thinking about like, I'm thinking about like, woe is me. Like I have that per like that mentality. Yeah, just Sunday morning thoughts. Still reading. Um, another thing is that what the book is explaining that everyone's monkey mind is very different depending on how you were raised and your experiences. My monkey mind is very different than like yours. And as life goes on, anxieties that we have in our heads are just like added and fueled by every experience that we have so like you can't judge someone for like coping or dealing with life in a way that you don't the example that he gives in the book is like his wife is upset with her husband because he's like not giving her the time of day not talking very much working too much and he just is very like shrug offish and he's just like not talking much about it and like every time that she tries to ask him like what's wrong like you're not working that much he's just very like stop making it a big deal like it's fine like i'm just busy like blah 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 like um how many times did i just say like 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 blah 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 like um or um uh. and <laughs> and is gonna be my new like or um Oh my god, it's really hard to like not say those words. Um, it goes to, sh it shows how Kevin, which is the husband, was raised and for example, he like fell and hurt his knee and ran over to his dad and his dad was like, rub some dirt on it, like you don't see your brother crying when he falls down, don't be a sissy, blah blah blah. And that seems like not very kind, but his, the dad's intention, because of the way he was raised, his intention wasn't to like belittle him or make him feel like not manly. It was harsh, but it was well intended. It was so that he fit in with his peers. He believed that the way to stop Kevin from being teased is by scolding him when he does something that others may judge. So it's just like every single person's way of dealing with stuff is very different. And that taught Kevin, the husband, that when something's going on, showing emotion is weak. So he doesn't express his emotion to his wife, so his wife doesn't know. And his wife, who has a different monkey mind, is like kind of judging his reaction and his behavior based on how the way she deals and copes with things a lot of people's problems especially in relationships stem from the thought that everyone deals with things the way you deal with things and the way you think but you know everyone's experience in life is very different and to me i i look at more like people's intentions that's what i try to gear my judgment based off like it's just the intention of what's going on so obviously when this guy this husband is working and not paying that much attention his int his intention is not to hurt his wife he's just busy and he's has something on his mind but to his wife it looks like because oh and they also described his wife like saying oh i'm gonna go spend time with my friend and leave him alone and that'll show him so like her intention of when she doesn't express herself verbally and is more quiet and reserved is to kind of prove and show that she's upset so maybe she's like correlating that with her husband um but it's very different because they have different monkey minds hopefully that made sense <laughs> the book explains it a lot better but i just thought i'd share that with you guys i'm not going to share it too much of it because obviously it's like a book that someone sold but yeah i am going to film a video it's my little video set up i got ready for the first time in a while i feel really good i'm going to be filming a three-step weekly prepping for success the only three things that you need to prep for um well that video i think that video will probably go up after this if not i'll pop it on the screen um but yeah that's my my sunday morning a lot of you guys asked me where i got this plant from i got it from home depot a long time ago 
I have no idea what it's called, but the actual like uh, planter is from Umbra. I'll pop that down below for you guys. But if you know what kind of plant this is, let me know and I'll let the peeps know. And yes, it's real. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna film here because it's a new backdrop, right? Let's do that. I'm gonna film it right here. I just finished filming. I feel like it was a really quick video. It literally took me like 12 minutes to film, which is crazy. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs. I have some packages in the mail and we'll do like an unboxing together. Nothing too, too exciting. T toilet paper and I mean, I guess this is exciting. This is um, the Society6 print that didn't come in last week. Uh, if you guys watched that video, you guys know all my arts that I got, they sent me over the Tampa one. Makes me homesick. All right. Now, I'm fully stocked. These are like the flushable wipes. Uh, I still can't find toilet paper on Amazon. I typically will like bulk up. I like stock a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but obviously during these times, like I'm not one to like grab a million toilet papers when it's there. Like I'll, I'm, I just need enough for myself, but Amazon only sold it in like bulk like this. So if you guys are looking for any toilet paper, I will pop it down below. Hopefully they still have some in stock, but I grabbed it while I can. So if you guys were here, I would give you one, but yeah, I feel like I'm stocked for the year. <laughs> All right guys, it is currently 1.15 and I am so unbelievably tired. Like to the point where if I close my eyes, I will literally fall asleep. I woke up at early yesterday because of the couch and then this morning I had a dream um, that woke me up and I just couldn't fall back asleep but it was like at seven o'clock so I think because I've been waking up earlier than usual, I'm like super tired. And I haven't drank any caffeine now that I think about it in the past, like, I don't even remember the last time I drank caffeine. Oh my god, but I'm so tired, and my friend called me, she went to Connecticut to go golfing. Um, and it was so beautiful outside, so I'm like, I'm gonna go outside. There was so many people outside, and the sun, sitting down, I was social distancing, I had my mask on, wasn't going close to anyone. But I FaceTimed my mom, and most of the walk, I was just, like, standing, looking at the water, talking to my mom. But wow, I am so tired. I don't typically drink caffeine in the afternoon because I feel like I won't fall asleep. I don't know. I have half of a Celsius here, like a third of a Celsius. I'm gonna drink some of this. Hopefully it'll like wake me up. Cause right now I'm like so tired to the point where I'm just like, I can't even like form a sentence. I'm like so tired. I'm gonna watch a movie. I have on John Tucker Must Die. Um, yeah, Lazy Sunday. You guys, I forgot how good this movie is. Oh my god, this reminds me of my childhood. I remember when this movie first came out, it was like so popular. But I saw Ashanti trending on Twitter yesterday. So I was like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot about this movie. And it's on HBO. Um, it's just, I'm like literally like laughing out loud, which I don't very, I don't do that very often when I watch movies, but I forgot how good it is. This has officially just become like a vlog in bed. <laughs> I'm watching um, The Worst Cooks in America. I uh, didn't know this show existed and it has Johnny Bananas. It's like celebrity edition and it has Johnny Bananas from The Challenge and Sonia Mo Morgan um, from The Real Housewives of New York, the only two shows that I basically watch. I'm like, yes. It's like my two worlds colliding. And so far they're like cooking, but Johnny Bananas is making like shots or like vodka sodas or something. And that's how they're bonding is over alcohol. They're just like, <laughs> they're just like my kind of people. I'm like already really liking the show. Happy Monday guys. Just dropped a glass and there's glass everywhere now. Yay. I was cooking. I actually made myself a really good breakfast. Now it's going to be cold. Despite the glass fiasco, I'm having a really good morning. I'm uploading a video, eating some breakfast, listening to some good music. Um, but I had a video that was supposed to go out today and I sent over approval like way before the time slot. Obviously, like there's so much going on right now in the world that like I totally understand that they're like slacking in terms of approval and stuff. 
So I'm gonna re-upload this. It looks like they had already viewed the video, but if not, I'm just gonna post it without the sponsorship because I just like to stick to my schedule and I can just pop that into like a different video. Um, so all this morning I was kind of just like resolving that and like fixing the video and like taking out the sponsor and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of like computer work today. I think I'm gonna edit the video that I filmed yesterday. And then tonight I'll probably pick the camera back up because I'm doing a, um, my friends are so cute. Florida's basically like reopened. Um, so they're all like posting stuff in like restaurants and like, I don't know, it's like making me homesick, makes me wanna go home. I'm getting frustrated with the current situation here and blah, 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 blah. So they are gonna, we're gonna do a Zoom call and we're gonna get all ready. They're gonna get ready for me as if we're like going out. We're just gonna do like a little wine night. So I'll catch up with you guys probably then. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be here on my computer. All right, guys. I just got back from my run. I'm still doing my run keeper. I actually just did workout number nine and I'm on workout number 10. It's getting a little bit hard, but it's still so worth it. Like it's just something to hold me accountable and I'm actually doing it with my mom. I told her about this when I was already started and she's catching up and like, we can't have that. We can't have my mom beat me. So she like did her workout this morning and I was like, no, I gotta, gotta go get mine out of the way. So I ended up doing a run. I'm gonna be sitting on my computer a little bit longer. Um, yeah, pretty basic Monday. I'm gonna hop in the shower and then do some work. And then, yep. I'm getting like all ready. I did my hair, I like curled it. Don't mind this, I just accidentally scratched myself and my dermographism is here, so. Yeah, I curled my hair. I'm gonna get ready. I have like a dress on. I don't know if I'm gonna wear that or not. That's a little bit of, actually, I think I wanna be super dramatic today. I'm gonna be super dramatic. I haven't gotten ready like this in like a really long time. I actually put my jeans on too and it felt really good to wear like my black jeans because I hadn't worn jeans since quarantine. I really wanna wear jeans so I might change out of this because I feel like this is a really comfortable dress. I got it from um, Nasty Gal and I mean like I could have wear this during quarantine and be fine with it. So I wanna wear something that's like a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> is that weird? So I am doing my face. I just did my base makeup. If you guys are interested in that, I'll pop a video on the screen where I like show you guys the products that I use. It's really simple. The only thing I think I'm gonna do a little bit differently are my eyes, like my eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna do what I used to do before when I used to go out. So I do the Modern Renaissance. The Modern Renaissance Palette, um, I'm using Warm Taupe. And I just do like a base of that. Oh my god, I haven't put on eyeshadow in so long. Hopefully I still know what I'm doing. Um, let's do Cypress Umber, which is like a dark brown. So basically it's just like a light and then a dark brown. And then I take the dark brown and just go in my crease. And then I'll take like the excess and then blend kind of on the outside. Now I'm gonna take that same color, the Cypress Umbra, and kind of like give myself like a little eye liner. It looks so weird doing eye shadow because <laughs> I'm sure that looks really weird too. Like when you close one eye, can you guys do that? I feel like a lot of people can't do that without like, I don't know, it's super weird. Now I'm gonna take the color Tempra, which is just like a super light color and go underneath my eyebrow wow and then i'm gonna put a little bit of the warm taupe underneath my eye oh my god this feels so weird i feel like i'm going out but i'm really not i'm just going into my living room and having a glass of wine <laughs> and then primavera which is actually running out and i'm just gonna put that like right on the inner part of my eye yeah I'm gonna do my highlighter. You guys know I love my brilliant shimmer cream. It's like my go-to. If I could, like had to survive off one product in here, it would be this, the brilliant shimmer cream. It's so nice. It's like a blush mixed in with like a highlighter, but it's like the most perfect color. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose here. I do put a little bit again on my lid. And a little bit underneath my eye. Does that look okay? Oh, my eyebrow looks weird. Now I'm gonna put on my 
Better than sex mascara, which I haven't worn. Oh my God. This feels so weird. This makes my eyelashes so big. Whatever I mentioned too, I'll pop in the description box for you guys. That Brilliant Shimmer Cream I really, really recommend. Especially if you, have, if you have like super light skin, like mine. I don't know, it just like really makes me glow. I feel like I look like a raccoon right now because I haven't seen myself with makeup on in so long. And then my favorite, Elf Coconut Mist. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this stuff. This is so much better than rose water spray. Coconut mist, you smell like sunscreen, like you're on a vacation in Hawaii or in the Bahamas. All right, I'm gonna blend a little bit more of this underneath eyeshadow. Now, I'm gonna put on lips. Actually, yeah, let's put on lips. I'm gonna put my lip pumper on, even though I'm not kissing anyone. Why not? This is actually kind of sad. <laughs> Trying to be positive. I feel like I have plans tonight. Today's Monday too, like what the hell? All right, while that plumps, I'm going to put on my jewelry. All right guys, got my jewelry on. I wanna go out so bad. I put on a necklace, some hoops, and some rings with no nails. Ignore the nails. I'm like, I really wanna mess with that and like go into the call. With like this big jacket on. Should I not? I'm ready for a night on the town. Yay. <laughs> Pretend that you're your sim. You said Just it was like splurge. $17. Yeah, I think it's like $19.99 or something. Cheers. Yeah, Lindsay, sh Lindsay, Lindsay, get a water bottle. Come on. One, is it empty? <laughs> One, two, three.